All right, so in this video, we're going to start talking about um, partial pressure of gases. So what that means is, well, let's first start with um, just a balloon full of some gas, and we'll start explaining a few things. So let's say we put maybe 10 molecules of gas in this. Got one here, two, three, four, five. So here's the first five, and they're going to kind of bounce off some walls you know, hit the walls, and this is going to cause pressure on the outside of the balloon. And now we're going to add another five, and let's say this is all the same gas. This is just some generic ideal gas, but we painted half of them blue, and we're going to say we painted half of them green. But this is the same species of gas. So anyways, you can see they're going to hit the wall and bounce off, and this is what's causing pressure on the balloon that we've been talking about. So what we talk about here is, well... First of all, let's we, we were saying that the ideal gas law, here we'll switch back to black, the ideal gas law uh, states that um, PV equals NRT. Okay, and what we're talking about, we just want to talk about pressure, so we're going to isolate for pressure, and we'll get this is P is equal to NRT divided by volume. Great. So what we're talking about here, this is just our generic gas, whatever. It could be oxygen or carbon dioxide or just air, you know, doesn't really matter. But all of these are the same. We've just painted them different colors. So what this is talking about, this is the pressure of, you know, this whole system. So in this system, uh, if we just, we're talking, this usually refers to moles, but just imagine it as uh, the system has 10 molecules in it, right? And so they're exerting a certain force. Now what happens here is, let's copy this and I'm going to show you something. If we go like this, um, we'll just make two copies of it and check this out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to erase um, in this one here. We'll just erase all of the green ones like so. And in this one, we'll erase all of the blue ones. Okay. So now look at this. If we are talking about this here, we can switch in colors. Um, in this balloon, pretend this one's not up here. Let's just look at this balloon. Well, if we want to talk about what's going on in here, if we want to solve for the pressure in this balloon, oops, um, we want this one. We would say P is equal to NRT over volume, right? Because this is just a closed system uh, in this balloon, but in particular, we're looking at five gas molecules that just happen to be blue. Now, if we go down here, looking at this, um, this balloon down here, we see that, well, there's five in here, and this is a closed system, so if it's acting ideally, we can describe this situation with the uh, equation P, well, P equals NRT, NRT over V. Okay, so now let's just go back up here for a second, and let's look at this. We're talking about P equals NRT over V, and what this N basically is talking about, we can think about this as maybe just calling this, well, if we refer to this N, here. Let's call this n total. Okay? And n total is, um, well, basically it's all of the blue molecules plus all of the green molecules because they're just painted. They're all the same thing. So we can think about it this way. We have, well, n total of the 10 molecules here is the number of blue molecules. So n blue, we could say. And this is going to be, well, plus all of the green molecules, the number of green molecules, and green. Okay, that's good. So if this is true, which it totally makes sense, right? Where the total number of things in here is just all of the green ones and all of the blue ones. So we can substitute into this formula. Well, we can change this now to P is equal to, well, instead of N total, um, we can say N blue, the number of blue molecules, gas molecules, plus and green. Right, this is just exactly the same thing. This is all the molecules, you know, of N that we're talking about. And then continue with the formula. This is be RT. And this is all over V. Okay, and well, if that's true, then we can say, well, we can rearrange this again. And well, we can say, well, then the pressure is equal to um, N blue times RT all over V plus 
this is n green uh, n green times rt over v and this is the same thing we just did a little bit of algebra here rearranging the formula and if conceptually if you think about this well this is this this is this balloon and there's 10 molecules here say they're all moving at the same speed so they, they each hit the wall maybe once every second so we're getting 10 impacts on the wall per second well if you think about this um, the pressure in the green balloon we have five and they're moving at the same rate these are the same ones just kind of isolated so in this balloon we have five molecules say moving at the same speed so we get five hits on the wall per second and you know that's exerting a certain pressure on the outside of the wall of the balloon so we'd have that pressure plus what well, we'd have five here you know moving at that same rate you know putting pressure on the outside and so we get the total of in this case it would be you know five plus five and we would get the same thing as our ten you know that's not that's just kind of a little analogy of you know a way to kind of wrap your head around this um, and so this is all assuming that these are you know just the same molecule right the, this is all the same type like they're all regardless if they're blue or green you know we're saying this is all oxygen or carbon dioxide or something um, so now what would happen if well let's maybe let's put some labels on here let's say that blue is hmm, let's say let's say blue is oxygen okay and let's say green is co2 okay so now we have two different types of gases and so in here we have in this balloon we have co2 and we also have oxygen now so now we're not treating these as the same gas and we're saying all the blue ones in this balloon are bouncing around at some rate hitting the walls and setting pressure and that's oxygen and we're going to say the same thing with the green ones and now if we look at this all the only variables in this whole equation pressure is only related to how many molecules there are the gas constant that's not going to change the temperature which we're not changing in this situation and the volume of the balloon which we're not changing so basically it doesn't matter you know what these are as long as we know how many molecules or how many moles of these molecules are bouncing around um, we'll be able to find the total pressure so I hope that makes sense basically you know we're getting the pressure of these five molecules plus, plus the pressure of these five molecules to get the pressure of all ten molecules together in the same balloon just hopefully you can understand that you know they're just doing their own thing acting kind of independently from each other but at the same time just both contributing you know in their respective um, components you know to the, the entire pressure of the system or the total pressure and the other thing we can talk about maybe if we're talking pressure um, we can talk about each um, each of these gases um, in terms of their mole fraction it's uh, sometimes another way that you know people will talk about this and so basically how we write this would just be it's mole fraction you would have a kind of like an XI and then you'd write well and I'll just explain this in one second over n total and so what this is and I um, this is just referring to you know each individual gas sample in this case we'd have two different ones and n total is just the total you know moles of gas that are present so if we just use our very simple example not even using moles or we could say five moles I guess instead but maybe just for now we'll say five molecules so um, for for oxygen its mole fraction would be well we'd have five molecules out of a total of ten and so we get its mole fraction um, would be just 0 0.5 and likewise same thing for down here we would have five molecules out of a total ten in this case their mole fractions would be the same just 0 0.5 out of one or just one half if you wanted to express it as a fraction